Hello guys, you know this little device is the Raspberry P3 okay. and it has an HDMI output which can be used with this touch screen and I'm gonna show you how to set it up and install it without a fuzz okay let's start <laughs> Okay, first thing, the Raspberry Pi, it's an electronic device uh, that is using uh, distribution based on Linux and as many often, as too many often, when you add an external device, you need a driver. And this is where it starts to be a bit of a nightmare because there are so many copy and so many type of 5 inch touchscreen for Raspberry Pi uh, you spend just fucking days uh, try to find the good one so what I did for you I've installed, I've downloaded the last uh, Raspberry system and I've did a pre-built image for you with the driver of the Banggood 5 inch LCD touchscreen for it so you just have to download the image, burn it and you can use it and this is what we're going to be doing now first thing, the setup so the 5 inch touch, the five inch touchscreen comes with HDMI bridge to connect to the Raspberry Pi some nuts and also a touch pen <laughs> that I've lost but it doesn't matter uh, so the setup, as you can imagine, this will be doing the link between the HDMI output of the Raspberry Pi and the touchscreen. So in order, you have to be perfectly aligned. So you use, you set it up. The two here needs to go on the two pin on the edge. Okay, and you plug it. So now the two HDMI output are facing each other and it's set up actually it can already work this way and if you want you're gonna you can install this oh, little spacer You can install this little spacer here. Up, up. But I'm not gonna do that because when you use this touch screen, uh, you need to use the bridge here. At the moment, I'm set up a uh, sort of uh, archive box on my Raspberry Pi so I plug it on TV so I use it without the touchscreen so I'm not gonna use it now okay so once it's set up you take your micro SD card on which you have burned the system you have downloaded on the tutorial page. You put it here. So, in order to use it, you need to power the Raspberry Pi on a USB port. One thing, it's with the touchscreen, it's gonna need more power. And on some computer, your classic USB output might work. On some, it might not work. On mine, doesn't because I've got too many USB stuff. On it. So what I use is an external battery, and that's fine. Uh, so what I do? So I repeat. We plugged it, set up the adaptator. That is here. Plug the USB micro USB micro SD card, and now. So. In the Linux system, the Linux system I've used is the Raspbian, the last updated version, and it has all the drivers and the scaling is done. Uh, it's just ready to go.
Hey, as you can see, the picture fits properly the screen. It's all nice. And it all works. Voila. So now you have a proper touch screen working on your Raspberry Pi without a fuss. If you have any issue, just leave me a note on the video and I will get back to you. Thanks for your attention. Bye bye.